Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. The content of this video is unlike our usual topics. As we dive into the world of key caps, this video will mark the beginning of an exciting series of upcoming videos on freeform dioramas. Let's get started. For those of you who are new to our channel, this is a platform dedicated to sharing the creative process of crafting keycaps, resin-based products, miniature models, and much more. Today's topic revolves around a viking confronting a dragon. First, we'll 3D print the dragon using a resin printer and then remove the supports using specialized clippers. The 3D file can either be self-designed or sourced from free online repositories or purchased, depending on your specific needs. The printer I'm using has a 4K resolution. Currently, there are many good printers available on the market at varying price points, catering to everyone's budget. Drilling into the wooden base to secure our dragon, leaving some space to create a rocky terrain beneath its feet at the back. Utilizing high-density modeling foam to create a frame for the rocky terrain beneath the dragon's feet. Using construction putty to seal any gaps and sculpt the shape of the surrounding rocks. A helpful tip when painting is to start with the darkest base coat, followed by gradually adding lighter colors to create depth and dimension to the object. Water-based acrylic paints to add color to our dragon. 
I want my dragon to have a hint of green on its tail and wings, as it reminds me of the flying creatures in the movie Avatar. That adds an intriguing touch. Expose the light. I'd like the base around my dragon to resemble a rocky mountain. So, I'm painting the base in line with this concept, using some small tricks to create a few perfectly placed rocks. Sounds like a great plan. Now, it's our Viking warrior's turn. I found a free file, but he was originally holding a sword. So, I changed it to a branded axe, making it much more distinctive and aesthetically pleasing. looking quite impressive now. Our dragon is ready to breathe fire. Wrapping the cotton carefully and checking multiple times to ensure aesthetics, we also need to hide wires, cover imperfections, and remove any excess details.
take a look at the final product if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos in the future.